Hi guys. Oh my god. Guys, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I literally couldn't flip the camera. I don't know where to look. I've never recorded myself on something like this other than my iPhone. Or maybe I did when I was like in sixth grade and carried around a digital camera, but this is like so new for me. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, I never thought I'd say those words. I feel like I've just been a TikTok girly for two years. Then it took me like a year to even like get into Instagram. And I feel like you guys have been saying you want YouTube for so long now and now I'm here. I'm here and I'm ready to go. This is gonna be a process for me. Like, don't make fun of me. You guys need to like tell me what you wanna see, you know? And if you don't like what I'm giving you, tell me and I'll give you something else. Like, I just want feedback. Feedback is everything. Anyways, New York Fashion Week is coming up. I am very excited. I feel like this year has been very crazy for me because I feel like when I started, the first year was all about just getting a following and all this happening out of nowhere. But the second year was like actually seeing that the conversations and things I'm posting and my real to calls like all of that was actually making an impact because I ended up doing revolves first extended size line which is extra extra small to 4x and I launched that recently and then I also am the brand consultant for Victoria's Secret Pink which is super exciting because I'm helping to extend their sizes also so I just feel like this fashion week will be like exciting and interesting to see what's changing when it comes to inclusivity in the higher end fashion space because that's not something I touch on as much I made a commitment to myself that I'll only be going to shows that either have my size where I can actually wear it or have plus size models that I know that they will because they have in past seasons and if I do get invited to other shows that don't I will be saying no this is just something that I feel like makes sense for me and what I want to do and I'm going to keep you guys in the loop with everything I'm excited okay let's do this back again with another <laughs> oh about me I'm the baddest alive. What, what are you up to? How do you get into places? Wait, are you serious? Wait, this isn't you. When people text you, I have a question. I do that. No, just <laughs> fucking say it. Actually, wait, I think I do that. You do do that. You've done that. What? Yeah, even wait, question. <laughs> I just go, what, am I in trouble? He goes, yeah. You miss me. Aww. Wait, now I'm afraid I'm just gonna throw up. <laughs> We're on a time limit. <laughs> I like girlfriend with me. No. Yes. You're so happy and like. Ew. Ew. You don't want to be yeah. happy? No. What? She's like so We're on heavy. a time run. Let's okay. go. <laughs> I wanted to have it be like a night out in New York City. Like it's fall, I'm back in New York City, I love being in New York in the fall. Right. And all of the pieces from the second drop are very like fall, going out with your girlfriend. Okay, let's see the first look. This next look on Deja is amazing. It's the Jackie Maxi skirt and the Daniela Halter top. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> okay. Thanks to you. This is the Carly mini dress. 
I needed to do a mini because I don't personally always wear mini dresses, but I need to think of everyone else. And I was like, <laughs> Would okay, you wear I, this dress? I would wear this dress. I think it actually looks good on me, but I just like, use, I'm so used to wearing mini dresses. It's a super stretchy material. It like hugs you in a little bit more. <laughs> How does it feel? Sweaty. Feels great. Feeling? I don't feel good when drinking chicken soup. It's actually very amazing. Nice Girls go wild. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, show me your chest. Show me your chest. Mm. Dad, you look great. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling better. Better. Um, look at my nose. They're so like velvet. Snatch this jaw. I'm gonna snatch this hair. <laughs> 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 Don't you wish that we lived here? We could just live here all the time. Yeah. Okay. Like, she was like, I don't want this guy. He's too nice. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna do it in dialogue. <laughs> so there you go. What? Great I'm so advice. tired of like these girls picking these guys that are mean to them. And not going for the one that's nice to them. Like, I did that. I used to do that too. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, you mine too. Before we got my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
got a picture of Lake Payne. I think we'll get out of their cars so gracefully. <laughs> Nothing's easy here. Hi guys. So fashion week has passed. I feel like I've talked about this on my other social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok, but I just wanted to bring it up on my new YouTube channel also about how I feel about how fashion week went, whether it was in New York, Milan, London, Paris, all around. I am very disappointed. I really have been the past few weeks since this video is a little delayed. I'm trying to just like look at the small wins and look at the positives, knowing that there are brands and designers out there that are doing something. And even though it's not what I want to see, what a lot of people want to see is that all these brands are more inclusive and just have more sizes, not even just over a size 10 or 12, but a size 14, 16, 18, beyond my size. Being that so many more women of so many shapes and sizes and heights and whatever can wear their clothes. I've been trying to be a little less angry about these things and look into why some of these brands and designers weren't as inclusive during fashion week and aren't in general. I've asked a lot of these brands and designers. I'm trying to get the information. I'm trying to understand. And other than some that I believe truly just don't want to, I know there is some that have tried and have added certain sizes and those sizes have just not sold. So they're considering it a waste of their money to create these clothes, which takes a lot of money and more fabric. I don't know if you know, but there's some plus sizes online on certain websites that actually charge more for the plus sizes because it's more material. Anyways, that's a whole other story, but they just feel like, okay, well, if it's not selling the first time, we're gonna just drop this, we try. My point of view on it is it takes time. It takes time to get that new customer, especially if you have a smaller customer. It takes time to market. It takes time for these plus size people to believe in you and trust you that you actually want to do this. There's just so much that goes into it and just trying one time and it not selling, I don't think that's enough. I think that you just need to put in more time and effort, work with influencers, work with TikTokers, find new ways of marketing it, come up with a really cool, exciting campaign that surprises the shit out of people, that they're like, oh my God, I never knew this brand or company would ever have plus sizes, but they just made this a huge deal and now I wanna try it. Anyways, that's my take on things, but going back to the actual fashion weeks, I do feel like we were going back in time a little. I feel like there's even less shows than in the past that were inclusive, which is so freaking sad and weird. I track all these shows, guys, and I noticed that before 2020, before the pandemic, there was more of these shows, especially in Europe, that had at least larger than a size 10 or 12. And then because of COVID and because all these companies lost money, they just decided let's forget about plus size. Okay, well, I understand. I understand the economy is messed up. I understand all of this. But just to be so excited, as you saw in my first video, going into this, like really thinking, oh my God, it's 2022. I'm going to see so much change. And this is going to be so amazing. And I'm going to feel so accepted in these shows and at these shows. And that just wasn't the case. I would say there's a few shows that I want to applaud that I'm happy
happy they wanted me there, that I attended, that they dressed me, and that they actually cared to include larger sizes. That was Tommy Hilfiger, probably the best show I've ever seen. And it's crazy because you look at it and I was like almost crying, being like, this is so amazing. That to me was what every show should look like. There was plus size women, plus size men, old women, old men, all different skin types, all different ethnicities. It, it was just so cool to see. Also Christian Siriano, who has, in my opinion, always been the most caring when it comes to size inclusivity. And also guys, just to correct myself when I'm talking about inclusive, I need to remember to say size inclusive, that it's not just inclusive. Yes, a lot of these shows were very inclusive when it comes to diversity with ethnicities and background in that, but when it comes to size specifically is what I'm talking about. So I think Christian Siriano has always cared about that and he had a few plus size girls in his show. Cynthia Rowley did as well. Kourtney Kardashian's Boohoo show also did as well. Puma. And if I'm missing anyone, I put the shows that I went to in this video and then I went to Paris where I was able to go to Balmain, which I also thought was an amazing show. There was two plus size models, Precious and Ashley Graham, which was very exciting to see, especially being in Paris, which you would not think would be size inclusive at all. It really just wasn't. There was barely any shows that had plus size. I got more than a dozen no's to shows of people that just didn't want me attending. And then I looked at and tracked every single show and I can't even count more than five on my hand that had plus size models in Paris. I'm really interested to go next season to Milan. I feel like there was more than I thought there and I didn't think that would be the case. London, sadly, did not have that much size inclusivity as well. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I want to bring you more along on my journey of the behind the scenes work that I'm doing. When I'm in these meetings at Victoria's Secret, at Revolve, when I'm talking to these brands and companies, when I'm asking why, there's so much I'm not putting on my TikTok and Instagram and so much that I'm not sharing that maybe I'm unable to share if it's private information, but also there is a lot I am able to share that I just haven't. And I want to take you more a part of the journey that I'm doing behind the scenes and how much I truly care to make a difference in this fashion industry and use my voice. I still wonder every day how I got this platform and how lucky I am that I have one, but because I do, I need to use it. And I just want you guys to tell me if there's anything you wanna see in my YouTube channel. Tell me in the comments, tell me anything, because I need ideas. I've never done this before. I'm doing this because you guys have been asking me to make a YouTube for so long. I think once I get more ideas and more into it, I'll be excited to create more interesting content for you guys. So be brutally honest, it's okay. I love you guys. Thank you for watching my first YouTube. If you don't follow me already, follow me at Remy Bader on Instagram and TikTok and keep watching my videos here. Mwah.